Welcome from CNC Wood Carving UK. Let's now add a parts counter to our Mach 3 screen. Lesson 2. 5. Let's add some bits. 1 label, 1 DRO, 1 button, 1 LED. Labels, are something we use to place text in, such as, counter. DROs, are where data is displayed. Display parts count. Buttons, are used to initiate an event. Add 1 to the counter, button type 34 can contain VBA code. LEDs, indicates the status of something. On or off. Macros, are where we can place VBA code to do a task, called from RG code. In the Mach 3 folder, double click on 1024 underscore test screen dot set and hopefully the editor will open. Let's have a look around. You will see we have two windows, the first is the mock screen, the second is the toolbox. The mock screen is where you do all the editing and designing. The toolbox is where you select and set defaults you wish any item to have. On the toolbox click the page selection box, click 6, you can now edit anything on the settings, alt 6, page. On the control box you can select a variety of objects to be placed on your screen. DROs, buttons, LEDs, labels, and many more, you can only learn in depth by playing. Let's add a label, from the selection box click label then click add, now click on the mock screen, and there is your label, whilst it's highlighted, double click text in the toolbox label edit box, and enter counter. You can resize the label to show the counter, move it to somewhere you would like it to appear. Let's add a DRO, from the selection box click DRO then click add, now click on the mock screen. There are many things you need to know about DROs, there are dozens of inbuilt settings, on the toolbox click functions code, and another window will appear, click DRO, uncheck OEM, and click refresh, these are the OEM DROs. Check OEM, uncheck standard and click refresh, these are the standard DROs. You can ask, but I have no idea. There is a third set, these range from 1000 to 2254, these are user DROs. To read them use get user DRO, to write to them use set user DRO. So with the DRO selected in the toolbox, edit window D click standard code and enter 2200. In the toolbox, edit window D click format and set trailing digits to zero, click OK. Let's add a button, from the selection box click button then click add, now click on the mock screen. Let's change a few things, first let's name it, D click toolbox click text and type click me. There are dozens of inbuilt settings, on the toolbox click functions code click button, uncheck OEM, and click refresh, these are the OEM buttons. Check OEM, uncheck standard, and click refresh, these are the standard buttons. You can ask, but I have no idea. We will need to program this button ourselves, Therefore we must set it as an execute basic script button, if you see on the list it is also number 34. So in the standard code box D click and type 34 and hit enter, you will be presented with a dialog, click standard code and OK. Let's tidy things up, 
select the button and hold down the control key and select the DRO, and the label. On the toolbar at the top of the screen there are a few useful icons, click 20th icon on the menu bar, same size. You will see they have all changed size. Click the button, and move it closer to the DRO, once again select them all, Now use the 12th icon on the menu bar, align top, and the 16th icon on the menu bar, space evenly horizontally. This looks much better. Let's add a LED, select LED, and click add, then place it where you wish. And just like DROs there are three systems to choose from. For now d-click standard code and type 2200 and enter. Now we must program the button, select the button, in the toolbox, edit window D click execute code, a program window will appear, and type the following. Dim count as string count equals get user DRO, 2200, count equals count plus one set user DRO, 2200 count. Close the window in the usual way, and when asked include data to screen set, click yes. Now for the most important thing, save our work, use the file menu, save file, or click the save file icon. Now close mock screen, and open mock 3. As you can see our work is not there, we must load our screen set click view, and load screen. Select 1024 underscore test screen dot set dot click settings. Alt 6, and every time you click the button it adds one to the DRO. That's it for now, in the next lesson I will show how this can be used, and add to its functionality.